Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we'll create this part on free card and to do that we'll use these dimensions in this page here. Okay, so first here we'll create a new file and we change to part design workbench. Create board and create a new sketch in XYZ. Zoom out and select this four line tool. Click in this horizontal line and draw the sketch in this way. Okay, click in this horizontal line again and click in this point. Now we go to this fillet tool, fillet these lines in this way. Okay, and now we select all arcs. And click in, the, in this equal constraint okay and now we select this equal constraint again and we make these two lines equal now these two lines equal and now select merge constraint and constrain these these two points to this vertical line Okay, and now let's see the dimension for this sketch. So in this page we see first we see a ridge of 10 for these for these arcs. Okay, here we see this dimension. Okay. And we see this dimension here and and 72 here. So select this horizontal distance too. set 72 and here we'll set 36 okay and select this tool here change this radius to 10 and now we'll select this vertical distance tool. So the distance between this region point to this point is we have 80 here, so here will be will be 40. Select these two points, change here to 40. And here we see this dimension 120. So the distance between this point to this point will be 6. Now we close this sketch, press home and go to this pet tool. Check this, this option, reverse it. Here in this drawing we see the developed pad that is 40. It's 40 because here we have 41 and this 1 millimeters. Okay. select this object and go to mirror feature and here we change the plane to XZ plane and click OK now select this bottom face and go to fillet tool we change this fillet to 10 millimeters and OK now we select this top face and go to thickness tool. Check this option that thickness in words. So here we see this value for the thickness for. Click OK. And now select this face and create new sketch. Here go to sketch geometry and select this rounded rectangle tool and glue this rectangle now make these two points constant and these two points constant
so here we see 20 14 a range of 5 and 45 for the range of this line here and this dimension for the distance between this line here to this line so first we select this we select this constraint and we change here to 5 and now we select this horizontal distance tool we set this distance to 20 and here to 14 okay and now we choose this vertical distance tool and we set the length of this line to 45 and now we select this match constraint and we constraint these two points to this horizontal line and now use this tool here to extract this edge and switch to section view and now select this horizontal distance tool select this point and this point and the distance here is okay let's confirm yes is that so now we'll draw these two circles okay this part here So here select this cycle tool draw these four cycles. Now select this train tool and train these arcs. Okay, now we see the dimensions for these cycles and arcs. Here we have 15 and 18, 20 and 25. So here we select this tool, we constrain this diameter to 20. This arc here to 15. And this arc to 18. Okay. And now we switch to section view. Select this tool and, and here we extract this edge. And this edge say to second view and here in this page we see these dimensions here 35 we see 25 40 and we see 15 15 the centers of these cycles so select this vertical distance tool and here we set 15 and the distance between this, this center point to this point is 35. Okay, and now select this horizontal distance tool, and the distance between these center points will be 25. Okay, and the distance between this point to this point is 40. Close this sketch and go to pet tool. Here we select at face and we select this face here. And you can see this pad here. Now click OK. Now the next step is to create a new sketch. Click in this icon here and select YZ plane. Switch to section view and here we we'll we go to sketch drums and here we select this uh, rectangle tool and we draw this rectangle and in this page here we can see we can see this dimension town and here we see we see we see a thickness of this wall this dimension four okay and here we have one millimeters and for one millimeters so here first we select this vertical distance tool so this point to this point the distance will be one millimeters and here we know that this value is four now select this 
for the song to have distance 2 and set the length of this line to 10 and now we constrain this point to this origin point vertical constraint now close this sketch go to model and select this sketch and click on mouse and go to attachment editor and here we click on this button and we select this edge and check this option flip sides and now we change the X duration to 4 and now click OK and select this sketch go to this additive pipe tool click in this edge edge and add all edges Now click OK and OK guys you can see this so now the next step is to select this face and do it to us create a new sketch and here we go to sketch drums and select this cycle tool and we do this cycle these two cycles here and now this cycle and this cycle and this cycle so now select all cycles select this icon to make these cycles equal so okay guys in this page we see that the diameter of these cycles is 6 you can see here So select this tool and set the diameter of these cycles to 6. OK, and now what you have to do is to do some constraints for these for the cycles. So first we select this symmetric constraint and we constrain these two cycles. OK. Okay, and now let's see the dimensions for the sketches. So, okay, here we see a distance of 57 between these two cycles. So, we select this horizontal distance tool, and here we set 57. And now we see this distance here is okay. This vertical distance, no, 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 sorry. Here we see 20 for the vertical distance of these two cycles. So here we select this vertical distance tool and we select this point and this point. We set 20. Okay, and now we see this horizontal distance between these cycles. So here we select this horizontal distance tool, we select this center point, and this center point we set 25. Now is 29, so double click in this dimension, set 29. Okay, and what we have to do now okay guys so here the distance between the center point to the center of this cycle here will be 41 
so select this vertical distance tool click in this point and now this point here and set 41 okay and okay guys here we have 220 so what you what will say is that the distance between this the center point of these cycles here will be 222 so select this tool here and select these two center points and set 222 okay and now what you have to do is to constrain these two points so here select this vertical distance tool select this center point and this point here here will say 61 and now close this sketch and go to pocket tool and here we we'll change to throw roll and click ok now we'll select this operation and go to mirror Change this plane to axi plane. Now click OK. So now what you have to do is to make some filler. And go to fillet tool. Change here to 2 millimeters. Click in the Z button. And now you can see this part here. Here is missing this pocket, so select this face and this face and this face and go to pocket tool. Click OK. Okay, thank you guys for watching this video. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Thank you.